everyone, Napoleon Bonaparte here, favorite emperor, historical figure, influencer of the works, you know. I got, I got a little request uh, to check out this documentary. Yeah, all about me. Huh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm honored. Let's uh, let's check it out. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Oh, oh, cartoon. It's a interesting. So, and <laughs> there's me. The I'm a little. Now. I'm a little cartoon uh, baby. Did you just say <laughs> the rest of the army? So this is not historically accurate. Um, they picked on him for his Corsican accent. Oh my his God. Okay, so these guys just bullied me because they were jealous that I was going to be sick and awesome. And, you know, they, they I, I wasn't born, okay, with a silver spoon up my ass, okay? I had to put that spoon there myself. Single mother oh, look at that. Me and Josie. And needed stability. Aging single so mother. Okay, let's. Despite finding him intensely disgusting. What? Intensely disgusting? J Josephine? Look, everybody had trouble, had a difficult, awkward phase in their teenage years to their 30s. Uh, look, I was scruffy, okay? But that's because I was working hard on saving France, yeah? You know? All right, you powdered your wigs in the morning. I was powdering my imminent rise to power in the morning. Hey, what could be better than this? Just guys being dudes taking a bridge. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Take me back. Take me back. I just want to be with my boys. In an elaborate ceremony at Notre Dame, Napoleon was made emperor. I, I, uh, so I, I, uh, I invite the Pope, uh, down. Comes all the way from, from, from the Vatican, from Rome. So he's there, he's so excited, he's like, oh boy, you know, I'm gonna crown this new emperor. <laughs> and then I crown myself. <laughs> he's, and he's standing there like a jackass, he's like, hey, why, why are you crowning yourself in front of the Pope? That was, he sounded like, are you crowning yourself in front of the Pope? I think Pope and... <laughs> oh, I'm such a little stinker. Ooh, I love. The French army was saved thanks to a legendary Ooh, cavalry yeah. charge by Napoleon's flamboyant cavalry commander, Murat. Murat, baby! Oh, look at him go. Oh, he was a star that day. He took his horses and he just sort of just jammed them right into the enemies. It's just... Yeah, he killed a lot. Uh, he caused a lot of death there. Napoleon and Alexander surprisingly got along like a house on fire. They oh, laughed oh, together. Oh, oh. They chatted long into the night. They kissed. Oh. Okay, look, all right, let me just cut this off right now. Okay, this was a serious meeting. It only looks romantic because of context, okay? The romantic movement's going on. We got romanticism. So obviously people are gonna assume things are romantic, and that's why I don't like it, because they just make everything so goddamn romantic. That's why I am a classicist, okay? I like the classics, like Beethoven. Beethoven's, you know that guy, he wrote a symphony about me, yeah? Or a symphony all about me, yeah. I, you know, hey, let me, let, me, let me pull that up. Let me just see how, uh, it's being looked at the... Wait, what the fuck? He renamed it? Since when? What the fuck, Beethoven? The two could have been unstoppable, but unfortunately, the alliance didn't last. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about how Alexander is a toxic piece of shit. That's right, this is a call-out post. We had a good thing going, and what does he do? He's manipulative, he is petty, he is Jealous? I have a vassal state. He needs a vassal state. It's just, it's a whole thing. This is a little bit of relationship advice, and take it from me, I've been in a few, okay? Um, you want to be with somebody who wants to be with you for you, not who wants to be you for being you. So you want to be the one, the you who is with somebody who bees you when you want to be with, you want to be scorched earth. If his opponent retreated while scorching the earth, his men couldn't live oh, off the land. Just, what if we just, Run away! Yeah, that's a good message to give the fucking kids. Oh, let's let's not stand and face your problems. Yeah, run away from your problems and hope that they freeze to death. I hope you're happy. Cause it worked. The snow of winter began to fall, and Napoleon sensed the catastrophe that was about to unfold. He decided their only choice now was to get out. This was the worst, right? The absolute worst. I waited for like like a month. Okay, a month. I don't know why I gave him another chance. You know, I, I reached out to him. I gave him the opportunity to speak to me. He did not come back. So I just walked away. But then it, it was winter. And it was very cold. But not as cold as that bastard's heart. You see, that's a, again, it's the problem. You don't want to be with somebody who wants to be you. You want to be with somebody who wants to be with you. Oh, shit, I got it. It was over. And they insisted all that was left now 
for Where's the, the keyboard shortcut for I don't want to talk about to this? Abdicate. The location chosen for Napoleon's exile was the small island of Elba, and even got to keep the title Emperor of Elba. Fucking Emperor of Elba. What's that doing there? Hey, fellow monarchs. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, okay? I apologize. I did as much as I could. I can apologize. I'm like, I said I was sorry. You know, okay, sorry about the empire. Sorry about attacking you all. Sorry about all this stuff. I'm just going to hang out, okay? I'm just cool. I'm going to be in France. It's going to be chill. It's going to be a good time. What do they do? They declared Napoleon an outlaw. And, you know, I, I took that personally. In on the British, Here I come. A and it's Waterloo. Waterloo. Prussian General nope. Sent word. To make sure Napoleon was put away once and for all, they sent him to one of the most isolated and remote places. And they where do they put of. me now? The tiny a drum roll, please. St. Helena. Helena. Are, are you kidding me? That, that place is in the middle of no, nowhere. Do you know how hard it was to get things shipped there? I got my mail three months late humble origins with huge ambition ruthless determination immaculate skill on the battlefield and a hefty dose of luck who was determined to make his mark on history did just that i, I really i really tried you know look i did the best that i could all right okay europe was a mess holy roman empire what is this i don't know i did some good stuff okay feudalism gone religious intolerance gone women's rights gone wait uh Shit, uh, but anyway, this video was interesting. My, my main problem is that it's, it's way too condensed. It's, uh, um, uh, it's too simple, you know? Uh, please support the official release. Links in bio. Anyway, uh, out. Um, yeah, peace. Bought a bot out. Uh, okay, how do I, how do I stop recording? Uh, I'm done. Stop. Stop recording. Stop. How? I, damn, Davu, how do you turn this thing off?